Hi everybody and welcome to Thai Fishing in the Great Queen Spirit. Today we're going to deal with three major holds and locks which is Wakigatame, Hijiori and Udegarami which are very famous and also called, one of them also called Kimura. So enjoy the clip and these are raw clips so we didn't edit so just go straight to the point. So he, he attacked me for example like lock and then I turned the hand so I have to grab the hand along the wrist is important. Okay, the next thing I want to do is he's a very big guy and he has a very big strong hand. I want to come under, I want to come under the elbow. So I come under the elbow and I push from underneath so I can hit. Okay, and then I come down and I press him down. Okay, now uh, don't go, don't go down. Okay, so I want to press around here. There is a tendon here. Okay, it's called a tendon, right? So here there's the tendon and it's painful. Thank you, right? You feel? Okay, so I want to press that point, so I don't put my hand on the elbow itself, a little bit above and under and I push up and down. Then okay, I use my, my uh, forearm, okay? Now, after I push, I can control it. Important is to turn the hand upward. Okay, so after I'm controlling, I can put my leg in front or I can put my leg here. So now, I, now I can control the foot. Okay, I can also put a little bit on top. Also, I can put here and push here. Okay, I can use my, my, my leg to keep, I can drag, boom, break, okay? So, over here I push down, okay, and now I can turn the grip to here, also good. So now I can have a control of the wrist. So I can make a bar, a lock, I can push, I can push down, and also if you have a weapon. So if you have a knife or something, right, let's say you have a knife, right? So I can control, so here I can make sure he drops the knife. Right? Of course I will hit him under there. Uh, let's say he's me in the throat. The throat. Okay, and I turn. Alright, now over here, okay, but we're not doing uh, the knife, but we want to learn the hip concept. So over here when I push him down, I can do many things, right? I can bring him down. Or first of all I can kick. I can kick. Okay, I can kick the body, I can kick the leg, I can kick down, I can step, I can push, many things, right? Now, after I press here, okay, and using this point here, it's very painful, you can also hit, break, 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 break. So I can use many parts on the same point to throw him down, on the lock, on the elbow, right? After that, I want to push him down, so I can push him down while I'm turning him, or I can push him down straight, step into the mat, so I push him down, right? Right down. And now I'm closing him, right? So I'm closing him and I use my knee. Also I can put him on the ground and use my knee here. Okay, I use my knee here and stand on him. I, I want to make sure that the hand is like this. You can see the face, watch his face. I'm pushing, it's hard. Okay, now I can also push the hand and I can also use my leg to hold. Okay, now I can grab him, take the eye out. Okay, <clears throat> punch him, stamp him on the ground, push him down, finish him here. And I'm still holding him. Now if I want, I can lift him up a bit and put my hand, my legs under the wrist on the forearm here. At the same time I'm pushing down. Move your hands sideways and remove it. So now I'm having a katagatame, which is a shoulder hold. Okay? Or kataori, shoulder break. And I can use also here to break the elbow and to push the hand. And if I want, I bring the knee and I put it here. So now I have control, full control of him. Actually, I can leave him and I can fight with other people while I'm still controlling him. Yeah. Now it's very important that this foot will build the ball of the foot. Because if you're gonna be like that, you won't have no control and no balance. So you wanna turn the hand, you wanna bring the ball of the foot close to his body, not under the body, but close to the body, and put it on his shoulder. And at the same time, you wanna bring your right foot under, and you crouch down, and you keep your body straight. And with this leg, you want to bring a bit forward, so you are balanced. And I can control him, and I can fight if I hit, right? Now from here, I can break, and I can control. Ah, now it's very bad for me. If I want, I can take the other hand too, right? And press here, bring the hand here, and press him down here. Now I can press the hand here, too, it's hard for him. And if I need, I can copy. Okay, I break the neck, the head, bring up, and I close, take the head, 
finish it. Take the eye out. And if I have this on the top, take my handcuffs and pass him. Little mat is in. Alright, sit up. Next exercise. Next exercise is called Ule Garami. Okay, so I put him down. And I put him down in my arm. Okay, and I go on him. And I take the hand. And I put it on the ground like that. So usually we do it in ground fighting. MMA, Judo, Jiu Jitsu, any type of ground fighting. Now, I can here use my hand also against his, his neck, sorry. And I can also hit his head while I'm holding him. This, watch his head. His head can be under my body or under here. So I can use my foot. This leg to attach, you can go around. Okay, so you attach this leg, this hand with your leg. Okay, very important, you think, attach. While I'm holding him, while I'm pressing him. Okay, now he will start to get that leg, that hand down. So I can also bring the leg, the hand, the, the sheen, and, and, and stamp his leg, uh, his hand to the ground. So it's harder for him to take it out, then I'm blowing him. Now I'm bringing my hand under. This hand I will bring under. Under the arm. I will hold my hand. Now, the Udigarami or the Kimura or whatever comes from uh, Ude Hishigi, Udigarami. This is the Japanese name for this technique from, from uh, traditional Jiu Jitsu adopted by Goro Kano from the Judo, from Padokan, founder of Judo, and the founder of the what I do, I bring that elbow close to his body. And now at that point, I will make sure that this part of my hand, together with his wrist, is attached to the ground. And now I lift my elbow up. And he will have, okay, release your hand and tap on my back. Release your hand, put it on my back. Okay, so when you feel the pain, you tap. Okay. So now you can see, okay, so you got the effect. Now always tap on your body of your partner so he knows that it hurts, otherwise you don't know, and you can break your hand, yeah. right? Or choke you, or whatever. Okay, so the same. So I leave, and it hurts. Now if I do it here, look what happened. He can escape. Now he can pull his hand out quickly. Push it out, push it out. Back it, back it, back it. Yeah, you see like that, but you can also, you have to push the hand. This way. This way. Okay, so if I'm holding here, just push it out. Oh, he's released. Now he can actually grab me and choke me. And turn the whole, turn the whole thing around, go up here. And he can actually get a hold of me and start to do whatever he wants to do. So you gotta make sure that when you're on top of your opponent, so when you lie down on your opponent, two things. Number one, don't lie too close to his hip. Because he can rise up quickly. Rise up. Rise up. His shoulder up. Now uh, he can escape. Just, so you gotta lie down closer to his chest and put your weight over your chest. Yeah. Number two, bring the elbow close. Oh, okay. <laughs> bring the elbow close to his body, toward his belt, the hip area. Okay, you want to bring this elbow toward here. And then you want to put the hand down and lift the elbow up. By so using your hand. Okay, just go close and then tap. You don't have to wait for the last moment. Don't need to break. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay? That's all. Simple. Alright? Okay. Okay, you go. Filming? We are filming? Let's do Baki Gatami against the stick. Uh, uh, you want to hit me in the head. Okay? You ready? You're doing? Yes, filming. Okay, so, so I go here. Right? Boom. And now, I lift up. So what you can tell me, I use my hand until you come to the... So let's say you hit me in the head. Okay. I stop, I turn and I come down. Okay. okay, so now the hand... Hold, hold the stick. Now the hand is... But be careful you don't hit it here. Now, from here what I do, I'm holding hand and I'm lifting up. Here. And I can grab. Oh, you hold your hook. Yeah, I want to take it out. I can grab like this and push out. Okay? And I can take the thing out. Uh -huh. I can do like that. 
I can use the stick. Alright? Another way, you hold the stick. Hold the stick. Okay? I push the elbow out. I grab the elbow. Now he, now he leaves it. Another way, you hold the stick. Hold the stick tight. Hold the stick tight. I know it's hard because your hand is a trap. Hold the stick tight. Strong. I come from here. And I take it up. I can also bring it under his feet and lift up. Okay, very painful. Also, I can put my foot here and I can put like that. You see, I put it under my leg yeah. and on the elbow, yeah. and I put, I make this leg as a contra so the stick don't go up. Because if I do here, the stick go up. So I put my leg and now I'm pressing the elbow with my stick and I lift up and press here. It's very painful. Alright, so there's many ways how to. Punish the opponent, of course I can punish him, huh? You can hit him here. You can hit him there. Ah! You can hit him, you can hit him, let me. Anything. Okay, I can also use this one. Okay? You can cut him. With the blade, I will cut him over. While cutting him here. You want to suicide, right? I help him. Okay, baby. And I'm holding here. Let all the blood go. Finish. Alright? Alright, don't do that. Now, we're gonna go now, and I'm gonna go and I'm gonna show you how I do it technically without a fight, how we start to learn the technique. So I'm holding the hand with my opposite hand, so that means if I hold the right hand, if I wanna do the bar on the right hand, I will hold with my right hand. If I wanna do on the left hand, I will use my left hand. So I'm not doing the right thing coming from here. I have to do it left to left, right to right. So I'm holding the hand, and I'm pulling out, I'm bringing the other hand above. Now I'm putting the hand above his shoulder, uh, under the shoulder, above his arm. Now this is called Waki Gatame. Waki means arm pain. And Gatame means hold. So Waki Gatame, okay? Waki Ori. Breaking arm pain. So I put the arm pain here. Okay, then I'm holding the hand here. It's important to hold the hand. And then I'm sliding the leg. I'm sliding the leg. Okay, I slide the leg. And I fall down and I put him down to the ground. And now I put pressure with the side of my body on the arm and I lift the hand up. So he can. And here I have all the stuff. I have the wrist, I have the elbow, and I can have many things to do. Right? I can come here, grab here, also I can press him because he's a vital one, so I can put my hand here, give him pain here, or over here is more painful. Also here, I can grab and I can bring him into like a police hole, right? Bring the hand here. And over here, I can lift up, very painful. Then I can hold with my leg. Then I can take the body hand. If I have a rope, I can tie and make it count him. So the whole idea is I want to control him. I want to control him using vital points. And then I can do whatever I need to do. If I'm a police officer, if I'm a security guard, if I'm on the street, whatever happens. Remember that when you fight on the ground and there are more people engaged, you don't want to be on the ground too long. Because once I'm holding him on the ground, I cannot focus on what's happening on the other side. So people can hit me and all that. So if you want to pin someone to the ground, let's say I want to pin him to the ground, I pin him down. I pin him down. Okay, I want to control him and I have more people to fight. I have to threaten. If you come near, I kill you. Don't come near me, I kill you. And if they come near, and I, 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 I knock him down, and I get out, and I continue to fight. Because I don't want to be in a situation that I'm with him, and they come behind me, they talk to me, hit me, with weapons, throw something on me, shoot me, and I. Yeah. Okay, it's very important if you're in a self-defense situation on the street. So you gotta know that when you fight on the ground, it's good when you're one on one in the ring, but if there's many people, you, can, you must be able to be mobile. So you can move quickly from one side to the other. Otherwise, you'll be trapped. All right. All right. Okay, guys. So thank you so much for watching. I want to thank Harish for filming and Ashton for letting me demonstrate the techniques on him, my students. And I want to tell you that uh, those techniques are very efficient. So the Udagarami, 
uh, Hiji Ori or Hiji Kansetsu and uh, Waki Katame. They are all very essential uh, techniques. You can practice them. Make sure to practice on the weak side. So if you are right-handed, use the left side. If you are left-handed, use the right side. And make sure to practice at least three times more on each side to make equality in your technique and of course for your body ability. Remember that when, when we practice those techniques, we have to make sure that we don't damage our opponent or our partner, of course, because uh, he doesn't resist. So when you practice together, don't resist and squeeze the technique slowly, slowly, so you make sure that you don't hurt him unnecessarily. Think about a lemon, when you squeeze lemon, and that gives the partner enough time to tap on time, so you won't damage him and you won't break his hand shoulder or elbow. So this technique is very essential. I had a friend, his name is Chuck. <laughs> I won't give his full name, but he's from Israel. And he uh, used to fight in the ring with me uh, in our MMA fighting time during the end of the 80s and early 90s. And one time he fight, he was a brown belt before he got his black belt. And he fought, oh, no, he had already his black belt, I think. And he fight against a guy that was a yellow belt like a beginner. He was a beginner in MMA, but he was actually a black belt in uh, Judo and Jiu-Jitsu. And he tried to choke him while he was standing in uh, Kata Jiu-Jitsu, which is a cross, uh, cross choke. And at that time, he didn't know that the other guy is proficient with that, and you know, with Jiu-Jitsu and Judo. And the other guy uh, performed uh, Waki Gatame on, on his elbow and went down straight all the way to the floor and he broke his elbow. And that was so hard and so crucial that my friend actually couldn't fight anymore in the ring ever. And he was a national champion. And he was a very strong guy in 80 kilo, had a very strong leg, he used to chop the people's leg with his low kicks. A great guy and he was my partner for training. We were very good friends. But unfortunately, uh, that that uh, that knockout uh, took him out of the competition, and also he actually stopped training for a very long time. After many years later, he continued, and now he's teaching and all that. So this technique can be very, very. Those techniques are very, very effective, but you gotta be careful and make sure you don't damage yourself. Remember that if you practice uh, empty hand techniques, always uh, practice the weak side at least uh, three times more. And if you practice weapon, at least time five times more. So that's a little hint for you, and I hope you enjoy it. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel and wait for the next one. See you soon, guys. Thank you so much.